Hello, Jennifer Polizzi here from Orion Lending. Welcome to my DPA success video series. And I'm going to do an updated run through of how to upload a DPA loan into the STAR portal. We have made some changes to the STAR portal, which makes it even easier to register and submit down payment assistance loans with our Aurora and Boost DPA programs. So check out this video, like and subscribe, and hopefully it helps you be more successful at down payment assistance loans with Orion Lending. So when you log into the great STAR portal, you are going to choose Upload a Loan. We're going to register a standard residential mortgage loan, and we are going to drop in our 3.4. Once that 3.4 is in here, we are going to choose, I'm going to create my LE and initial disclosures in STAR, choose today as our application date, and then we're going to choose our program type. Now we have some great other options and we're gonna choose FHA DPA, which is our down payment assistance. And we're gonna, it's gonna give us a pop-up that we send the disclosures for you on DPA loans. And we're gonna then choose our DPA program. Out of the great four programs we have here, I'm gonna choose the repayable boost DPA that will default to purchase. And we are going to choose upload loan. This is now gonna take us to our applicant information tab. We're gonna double check this tab, make sure all the information is correct, especially the borrower's email address. When we are sending disclosures, we cannot resend initial disclosures to a different email address. So we have to make sure this email address is correct. We're then gonna to go to import the borrower's credit. And we are going to, at this point, import credit only. We're gonna enter your credit company information here, including your login, your password, and the borrower's credit reference number. And we're gonna import the credit. Once our credit report has been imported successfully, we are going to move forward to the next screen, which is going to be the loan and property information screen by clicking save and continue. Now that we have gotten to our loan and property information tab, we wanna double check and make sure all the program information is correct on this loan. Here, you can double check it. Right in this section, we've got our FHA DPA, our 3.5% repayable boost, and it is gonna show us the first, lien, uh, the first lien plus 2% for the second mortgage DPA rate option. You can also see here our purchase price, our LTV and CLTV, and the subordinate financing is listed right here in this section. We can also make sure we have our estimated close date and that is correct so that when we're processing the loan, we know what benchmarks we need to hit. Now from this section, if we need to update anything that doesn't look here, we're gonna go and we're gonna edit our 1003, just to make sure everything is correct. We are now going to save and continue and go to our wonderful fee screen. You will get a pop-up about the Home Ownership Education Counseling. This shit information should come from your 1003. If it is not on there, you can complete it. We're going to close it for now. But if your borrower has gotten some sort of counseling, that's the new section of the 1003 that needs to be completed. But we're going to go on to our fee screen. Now, this is a standard fee screen that's going to have all the information that you need. And you are going to, um, for all intents and purposes, use our smart fees because it's going to be a lot faster and easier for you. You can edit it if you need to, but we will be using the smart fees. This is going to be a standard fee screen. You're gonna choose a provider here, which is gonna fill in all your fees. One very important section of the fee screen is going to be the borrower paid comp. All DPA loans are borrower paid, so you have to fill in the information here so it's correct. So we're gonna add 2.5% and that's going to automatically add in your borrower paid comp. You also must select a provider for the appraisal. We will choose core valuation on this one and that will automatically fill in your appraisal fee. 
you need to add in a credit report fee and a third party processing fee. Even if you do not have a third party processor, you need to fill in 0.00 on that if you are not charging. If you are charging, it's a pass through fee, perfectly fine. Uh, if you need to add any additional fees, you can, a second appraisal, any uh, homeowner's insurance questionnaire, maybe for a condo. But then we're gonna move forward to the, uh, t the state tax and the tax stamps. Who is paying for that? If the seller is paying for it, you wanna make sure that you're disclosing it properly and checking the contract. And then we're gonna add our initial escrow deposit. And this is going to feed right through to your application. So you want to make sure this monthly amount is correct. If you need to add up any other miscellaneous fees, you can in here. And another important section is going to be the section for the second mortgage. Remember, second mortgage is secondary financing. So this will also add the fees for your second mortgage recording in there. It's not a lot, but it will be added into the fee. So you can let your borrower know that is included in there. And then when that looks correct, you can eyeball the whole thing. And we are going to then click on save and continue. It's going to have you validate any changes to the smart fees and we will click on continue. So this next screen is going to take us to our price lock screen. But before we price lock, we are going to make sure we edit our 1003 and run our AUS to make sure all the information is correct. So this is going to be your standard 1003 form. And here we can see some information right here at the top that we want to make sure we fix. We see we have a front end ratio and a back end ratio um, that seem very high. So if that looks high to you, we want to double check the information on our 1003. So as you can see here on the current loan terms and property, it's going to give you the information on your first mortgage, and then it's going to also information uh, calculate the information for your secondary financing. I know this DTI looks too high and my employment and information looks wrong, so I am going to check my information that came over from the 1003. If that information is not correct, I'm off on my income, I'm gonna change that information here. If there's any other information that you need to add on, maybe you wanna go to your asset screen, make sure your EMD is put in here. We're gonna put that in our, our asset section and we're gonna make sure that's credited to your borrower. So we will go here, we'll choose earnest money. If that's not showing up on your fee screen, we're gonna add, our $5,000 earnest money here. And another important thing to check is your cash to close summary. Have we added uh, the seller concession in here? Many DPA loans have seller concession. So we wanna double check it before we do our pricing, add in our seller concession and make sure that's credited correctly. So our findings are correct when we run them. So here's our seller credit and our $5,000 seller credit is here and that is correct. So we are going to look, our bottom line is here, and we are going to save it. Then we are going to run our AUS right here from the 1003. And that you can do by clicking run AUS. It will now give you the choice of running either DU or LP. Both are acceptable for... DPA loans, we're going to run DU. Our information will automatically populate from when we reissued credit earlier, and we're going to click submit. When our findings come up, we are going to view the DU findings, and we see we've got our approved eligible. You can look here at your ratios. You can look at all your DU findings, and we'll close those, and we are going to close this. And we are going to close our 1003. Then we're going to go back to our price lock screen. Once our pricing comes up, we can either float or lock our rate. We are going to float this rate. 
it's going to give us a strike price. So when your loan comes to a desired price, we will send you an email. We're going to save and float. And it's going to ask us to submit the purchase contract so we can move forward. Once we get here, we're going to choose the main contact and we are going to make that the processor today. And we're going to save. Once we have floated our rate, we are going to then request Orion disclosures. So to just to request disclosures, you're going to need a couple of things. Broker itemization of fees. Obviously, um, if you have your own fee sheet, you can enter that information here. If you're using our fees, just check the box. Get a title or settlement fee quote if you want one from the title company the purchase contract, and a service provider list if you want to choose that. Once we get that information, we are going to drop in our purchase contract over here. And we're going to request Orion disclosures. That has sent it to Loan Setup for us to send two sets of disclosures for you for the first and second mortgages. Now it's going to ask you if you're ready to submit to underwriting, and I am. So I am going to then drop in the rest of my underwriting docs like pay stubs and bank statements. And once I have all that information in here, I am going to submit the loan to underwriting. Once that has been submitted, it's going to give you our turn time and setup and in underwriting. And now you can click OK, and it is going to send your loan off to be underwritten. You can then see it in the pipeline. Click on the loan number and go to your loan actions menu if you need to make any changes or see any additional information on the loan. So that is how easy it is to register a loan on the STAR portal using our down payment assistance programs. If you have any questions about DPA programs or any of the other great programs we have here at Orion Lending, please reach out. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.